I am the oldest of four children, and my youngest sibling, my sister, was born with Down syndrome. So um, because she has a higher potential for hearing loss than the average population, um, my parents had to take her to get her hearing tested every year. So at nine, the audiologist didn't want me causing trouble in the booth, <laughs> so I sat with her. Um, and she was showing me all these fun things she was doing. So at nine, it looked like fun to be in this dark blue booth playing with toys, playing with kids, <laughs> um, and it sparked my interest. Then when I got to college, I found out there's a lot more to it <laughs> than what I thought, um, but I enjoyed it. And I enjoy helping people and making a difference in their life. Some of the patients that we see um, their ears or their brain distort the sound that comes in. So even when they have hearing aids that are set appropriate for them, they still can't understand or communicate well with their family and friends. So a cochlear implant is a way to bypass some of that damage that's in their inner ear and help them learn to hear in a new way where they can understand speech better. So after the surgeon does their surgery, um, I get to meet with them and activate their implant for the first time and help them hear and learn to hear with the device. One of my favorites was a patient that came in communicating with me um, using voice-to-text software because he couldn't understand anything his family was saying. In the matter of an hour, we were able to start talking back and forth, which is unusual. That doesn't usually happen the first day but it was really exciting to see such a transformation for him. So that's been fun that patients that I've struggled with and you think, what else can you do to take care of them? Now we have something. So it's been fun to watch and to help them through that process.